So, you I mean, basically at this point, you know, what is there? I mean, uh, I mean, it's, we at that threshold, you know, I was talking about. I mean, I've preached, I've ministered, exposed, preached, clarified, ministered, exposed. At this point, I mean, that's, I mean, that's it. I mean, what else is there possible for me to disclose to the world or the public? I find in life that, you know what I mean, if, I mean, you know, the reality that we internalize is directly proportional, I guess, to what we perceive to be our best means of opportunity or to create opportunity. So basically, I feel like no matter how many, how much truth or facts is this, at the end of the day, what will be internalized or retained, the information that be retained to be the information which complement our interests or complement our purposes. You feel? Me? So it makes no, it makes no difference for me to preach all year every year, to teach all year every year, minister. I mean, there's no point. You know, at this point, all I mean. You know what I mean? And, you know, in conclusion, I look at life as, you know, perhaps, you know, uh, I really did make a mistake. You know, I find that it's been said that, you know, uh, people of my age group or whatever feel entitled about the world, you know, as if all the things that, you know, Every other person have. We don't. We're not born into this world deserving it. You feel me? So I mean, my mistake, perhaps, was thinking that life, you know, liberty, freedom, and the pursuit of happiness was something meant for everybody. You know, and in reality, that's not. You know. And that was a mistake I had that made before I was even old enough to understand what a mistake was. Or old enough, you know, by sub you know, by learning all of this stuff, you know, that they teach us. You know, they teach us all throughout childhood, you know, about these things. You know, it's also known as social studies and stuff. These truths to be, you know, self evident. And you know, all of these things, uh, perhaps I insinuated, you know, and assumed that equality is for everybody, you know. I'm afraid that the truth is it's for some, you know. To be honest, that's outside my, my measure, you feel me? That's that's reserved those affairs are reserved for the big man you know God you know those are the things of God you know uh, I'm not cause uh, we keep you know pursuing the understanding of Well, what I find for my life and the persecution that unfortunately befall me, you know, things, I mean, for me to continue to seek an understanding of it, you know, lead me into things that I have no understanding of, you know. And uh, those are the things of God, you know what I mean? Mysteries, you know, uh, I'm not qualified you know, past a certain point, you know, uh, to speak on certain matters. And that's my most shocking revelation, you know, because um, at this point, I mean, the only thing I can say is trust God, you know. Uh, you know, I just, just things I learned, you know, from my life. You know, it's not a, I 
I mean, there's no explanation. You know, there's literally no explanation for the things that I've gone through. From 1994 all the way to now. For what we know now. You know, so in this entirety, there's no explanation for it. You know, given, you know, in relation to the statutes, the standards of the country, the lands. You know, it being founded under God and all of these things that's taught to us. So in relation to that, you know, there's no explanation for the things that I've gone through. Uh, you know. It's always been, you know, impossible not to know of something that God reveals to the public, uh, you know, to the world at any point in time, you know, because God is clear. So, I mean, at this point, I mean, it's that threshold. My existence was for the purpose of glorifying God. You know, and keeping a society holy. You know, so fundamentally, some would define, if you think about it, you know, my my time in the earth as an act of God. You know, so the importance or the significance of my contribution. It's relative, you know, depending on the interest, the interest of the observ, the observ, you know what I mean, who in observation. Just as beauty is in the eye of the beholder, in a province, a providence or Holiness is in the eye of the rulers and the life, the lives of others are in the hands of what governs them. You feel me? So my life and my time in earth is considered an act of God. Then my existence and my intent, you know, is not necessarily entitled to be important or entitled to equality, you know. But whatever choice over the things of God, you know, by any who could decide, are permanent, you know, permanent and, the, you know what I mean, it's it's permanent, man, uh, any choices, whether it be to retain knowledge of God or to choose a quote unquote better way, each path is one 
that requires the relentless and endless pursuit of the consummation of that trajectory like whatever it is that one would hope to attain requires their full focus meaning God and mammon cannot coexist you know in a person's heart you know we go choose one or the other and um persecution on my life for choosing God it's pretty much it's indicative of the reality the opposite of God you know it is because of light that we can tell what darkness is because of love we know what hatred is story like I've been saying for years the testimony was, was always more important than the individuals you know I've been saying that for years uh, which is also to say the story is more important than the person At the end of the day, my decision is final. You know, I chose to stay upon the path of righteousness. Follow the straight and narrow. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and he shall return. And once again, dwell upon earth. Believing in God is not necessarily, you know, uh, it shouldn't, you know, believing in God should not, you know, in a God under God, believing in God under God should not result in persecution with standards and statutes protecting those freedoms to serve one's God you know in the lands they say we got freedom our freedom to you know freedom to uh, you know freedom of religion no one should be brutally you know no one should be treated you know, less than human for their religion. You know, even still, Christianity, you know, I mean, I choose the Lord.